previously on Killer Frequency. Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. He'd already searched. Son of a fuck! Well, this is gonna be a long night. I'm so oh, bad really? at my job. I feel like it's going pretty quickly to we me. We just watched a man die, Peggy. To speed things along. You're gonna interview me. You sure about Why that? are we so lighthearted? You're not so scary. <laughs> Why are you so lighthearted? We just watched like a man a die. Now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. <sighs> Alright, what do you want to know? Alright, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. Um. <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Yeah, yeah, okay. Peggy. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh. I'm sorry, God, Christ. I am just not... I am a bummer. That's, uh, that's a bummer. It's okay. That's how it goes. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the question. Not anymore. Anyway, I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well... My folks went the same way as yours. Oh, um, how, wait, how do you know how my folks went? Oh, what happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Oh. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Yeah. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. Sure. She wanted to forget dad so bad... She even made me take my stepdad's last name. She made you? So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Damn. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm Shit. sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Okay, I'm sorry. Yep. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. You got it, Peggy. Ooh, how would Any you like to be Mrs. Funny Forrest Nash, huh? huh? No. No? Okay. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Oh, I'm sorry, Peggy. Hold on. Uh, yeah? Someone just rang the door buzzer. Wait, what? Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? No. Me? No. You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. Wait. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Wait, wait, wait. Peggy, Peggy. Ah, oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. You're just looking at your nails, Peggy. You don't even, you don't even care. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Oh no. Okay, well there's the key from Peggy. Oh. <sighs> key found. Second floor stairway. Peggy. All right, you stay safe in there. Oh, my key's gone. That's fine. Let's go answer the door. So is this the uh, the stairway? It is okay. Oh, why is our radio station so spooky? Can I go? Can I go out here? Oh man, can I turn the lights on and off? Oh, I can do nothing. Doing nothing, touching nothing. I'm useless, just like I was when I couldn't save Maurice. Is that a tape? A tape? Uh huh. Hello, Wh whistling man. Are you out there? All right. Play. On air. Yeah, that seems like a really terrible idea. Dude, this place is awesome. We have so many coffee stations. Can I... Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, oh. Hell yeah. He oh, oh. oh, yeah, this is... This is very cool. Okay, there's gotta be some secrets. Oh, oh yeah, hell yeah. Nice. New music to play. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Got that. And look at all the pets. Oh, they're all cat owners. Ugh, lame. Where are my doggies? This seems important. Some sort of maze. Okay, hopefully that will still be there. Staff? I need a key to get in there. What, why? Am I not staff? Do I not work here? Hello? Is there a murderer in there? All right, all right. Let's, let's head back up. Oh, I want to work in a radio station. Can we turn on some TV? Turn on something cool? No, no, right, we have a murderer. Now we have a tape. Oh, Maurice, I feel so bad. 
Look, I told you guys that I was not going to save very many people. And I guess it's true. As the puzzles get harder, more and more people are going to die. Hi, Peggy. Oh, maybe, maybe Peggy should be running point and I just, you know, offer advice. That'd probably be a lot better. All right. Um, so what, what do I do? Hey, Peggy? Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Well, this seems like a very bad idea, Peggy. I mean, we have like a murderer, and maybe this is like telling his victims to go somewhere, and we're playing right into it. Nah, whatever. I'm going to play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, damn. That is cool, but very I did creepy. not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Yeah, we should not have played that, Peggy. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Ooh, um... Say something. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, hey, sorry about... Uh, be careful. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick. Unless there's more but than one. Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Oh, that's a good slogan. I like that. Let's get this tape. Okay, bye. 104. It has only been an hour. Oh, boy. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. Oh, good we'll to know. Her from the suspect list. Do we have Let's a suspect go to a list? Break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Ah, uh, final breath. My new music. Cool. Let's uh, introduce. I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Uh, hopefully it won't be all of your final all right, breaths. Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. We, um, oh, okay. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Okay, I will. One second. I need... Just gonna put that there. All right, I'm going to get... And then we use this one as well. Those are my used tape collections. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I wish you would just walk through the door and talk to me, Peggy. It's very spooky in there. Hello? Peggy? <laughs> I just want to see another human. There are more humans? Why do we have a mouse trap? I'm not getting in there tonight. Why can I touch this? Is there, Should I... You know what? I'm gonna put this outside my door in case the killer decides to come in he'll step on the mouse trap instead and i'll be safe careful where you're walking peggy play me asap off air okay all right i've got it did we forget an ad or something i don't know it was buried in my work mail i only just saw it see what it says uh play me asap off air that's reggie's handwriting and he wrote it in purple. Reggie? And purple is Reggie's angry color. Oh, no. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Um, okay. What is he angry about? What do you think he's angry about? I have no idea. Maybe? No. Probably not that. I don't know. Just go play it. Is it maybe because we allowed somebody to die? Although, I didn't make the basket, which means he was, he was destined to die. Unlike Reggie, who's going to stay alive. Okay, play. professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. This one? And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your I'm literally playing programming. It. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Hi, that's me. Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Knight, you alright? Hey. Don't worry about Gina. Sorry, you're a tape. Oh, she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single. Well, I'm trying to I listen to it now, guys. It's my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, 
Let me know. We'll have to catch up. Oh, that'd be great. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Damn, Gina. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher. Hell yeah, I know Roddy Snatcher. He's He is cool. We're old friends. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. Okay. I wish we still had it in rotation. Yeah, well, we don't. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. I know. I'm a and big deal. I can't deal. believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. I'm literally we playing have to it, people. Final breath. Where is it? It's it playing is. right now. Thank actually. you. Oh my god. I was so freaked out by the tape. I didn't even notice. Oh, they. Yeah, I found it down at reception earlier. Barbara had it hidden away. Why was she hiding it? I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication. Folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. Uh, this place is I so corrupt. A few tracks, actually. Barbara! Oh, never mind. Just listen to that music. You enjoying it? You enjoying it? Roddy's the oh, best. he is great. He is he great. Is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Phew. I think that's every time I've seen him. Oh, right. my God, Peggy. Peggy. Okay. You just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Yeah, oh, sure. sure. I just noticed we have a caller oh, waiting. Okay, I okay. really hope it's nothing serious. Oh, you know it is, Peggy. We're 911. I almost said 911, which is not us. Definitely not. Goodbye. Okay, great single, great single. Hello, caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand Yeah, that's us. Murphy! Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. Okay. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my oh, life. Oh, that's so sweet. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Oh, Murphy. Aww, happy birthday, Fernando. Fernando, happy birthday, my buddy. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other phone. Uh Uh-huh. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife. Well, wait. Ruben. Wait, Murphy. Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? Wait, this is a bad idea, Murphy. Ah, we do not want to rile him up. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's dojo series. Oh, dear God. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh, Murphy. Okay, well. Oh, no. Yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. (sighs) And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen. Keep your fingers crossed He's for Murphy why as on your he son's, tries to become your son's our birthday. hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Uh, right. Okay, commercial, commercial. Let's do Teddy Gallows Jr. Teddy for Mayor. Yeah, all right, sure, why not? Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. Yes. A devout Christian. Of course. And a proud patriot. All hail. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. He really is. That's Like clap. his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, uh-huh. and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Sure, sure, sure. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, oh, hey, Teddy Linda. Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor. And he stands with our neighbors. Yeah. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, oh. after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Oh, not. Oh, God, why Teddy are my Gallows ads so Jr. bad? doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Well. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? <sighs> Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing. For Gallows Creek. Okay, we really need to vote for Teddy Gallows. Really need to Jr. listen to these before we play them on My air. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. and I approve this message. I bet you do, buddy. God, what a jackass. Yeah, he 100% really is. Great A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Okay, good, good. good. I have to ask though. 
take a swing for Gallows Creek? Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. What, like uh, two? Of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day. Hey, and me too. he never lets anyone forget. <sighs> right. Damn it. Let's just get back to the show. Okay, cool. Do we have a well, caller? folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. <laughs> you mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. I like you, Piggy. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. I know what to do. All right. Hopefully we're done with the 911 stuff. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> oh, great. Here we go again. Hello? Who is this? Oh, okay. This sounds sad, actually. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? What? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, no. Listen, caller, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. <laughs> we can help you. I've only killed one person. Already? So, you saved them, or... Um, well... Well, you know... We learned a lot. We did. Oh, we did. We're going to help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Okay, okay. Virginia. Sorry. How Take you doing, doctor? Deep breaths, Virginia. You're going to be okay. Please don't let me die. Oh, oh no. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Uh, can you Can you hide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't call anyone. Don't run. Yeah, hide, hide, hide. Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Ah, uh, call a ne- yeah. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Oh, dear God. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes, they're having a party. Okay. And takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. They're getting no, you're not going to get wasted, Virginia. Oh, God. Okay. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, so what do we do? Wait, the takeout. Yes? If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Oh, Virginia, you are useless. Thank you for nothing, you useless reptile. Try to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh Uh-oh. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia... (laughs) Did I already kill her? try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Oh, my transitions are just absolutely insane. Uh, what haven't we played yet? Sure, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, play, introduce, absolutely. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Okay. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well, there's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree. Right. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Okay. Oh, and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. Oh, Mr. Ponty. Okay, well, let's get calling. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. That is not a thing. There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. Oh my god, I hate this city so much. Is this. Okay. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. (sighs) There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Uh, This is very convoluted. Okay, I hate this town so much. You know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Yep. Complain after you save her, Forrest. Right, right. Okay, um... Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Food, food, food. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. Right. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my Wh- door Why now. can't we, Thanks, like, Peggy. face-to-face? I just want to hug so bad, Pedigy. Pe- Pedigy? God, where to start? I'm so nervous. Okay, right, 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 what right. would right, make right. me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Partying frat boy. Pizza. I think pizza is the correct right? one, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I think I saw something in the offices over here. I just here. have to look around. Yeah, yeah, we're going, Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. Okay, I know there was a food slip... Somewhere? Was it by the mechanics? Uh, da, 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 no. No, no, no. Adult tickets. No, it's not a strip club. There are no strip clubs. I am positive 
that I saw something somewhere. I can't read anybody's writing. Uh, why are there so many phones at this desk? Attention staff, please stop putting stickers on office furniture. You're lowering the resale value. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we got notes. Uh, maybe oh, Ponty's. find the pizza box. Okay, great. Uh, Ponty's, Ponty's. I eat the garlic bread much like your show is mediocre. The deal is worth checking out though. So pizza, pizza, pizza. No. Ah, uh, why, why, why? Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Okay. Great. Do I, is there a number on here though? No, no, we're not finding anything. I'm just gonna take all of this stuff, I guess. Okay, this should be enough. I don't see anything there. Okay, let's go back. Don't step on my mouse trap. Uh, Peggy, I'm coming in. Okay, I have, I have notes. Okay, Ponty's, you're just gonna chill there. Ah, uh, okay. For the hundredth time, it's an audio medium. People won't get it. Uh, okay, there's no number on here though. So that, that doesn't help me. Uh, okay, right, right, right. We got the staff key. Okay, that's in reception. All right, we're going down. I'm waiting for somebody to appear in the darkness. It's very scary. Hey, another mousetrap. We must have a real problem here. Trap tech can solve your little rat problem. I never did look over here. The hell is all this? Gallows for life. Alone. Genie and Carrie's f The hell? Did I do that? Oh my god. This might all come in handy at some point, but I don't think it's what we need right now. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, door is open. Oh, why? Why is this so spooky? Janitor's closet. All right, all right, I like that there are lights on. Uh, we just got cleaning fluid, which I can pick up. It doesn't do anything. I uh, don't think we need to clean. We have to go find some shit. Oh, damn, this place is really nice. I like all the little toys they have. It's great. Okay, guys, you can't just keep leaving the milk out. Do we have anything good in the fridge? Uh, more beer that I can't drink. Oh, shit. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How well Gallows High performed. Ah, uh, this is great. Anything, anything, grab. Nope, looks like a doctor wrote all these notes. Okay, newspapers. Uh, Go Gallows High, I guess. They won. Yeah, right. You saw that. That's good. Okay, that's good. That'll help us with the pizza deal. Ah, uh, don't need it. Ooh, new record. Nice. New music to play. Vice. I'm coming to get you. Why is all of our music so scary? Out of order. Oh, man. That would have been fun. Midnight Axe. Yeah, I think we're destined to die tonight. We are definitely going to die. All right, I think this is definitely the one that we want to call. Is this all locked up? Key. Okay, great. Fine, fine, fine. How about you? Don't like when stuff falls over by my oh it's so spooky locked for now for now we'll probably get in there at some point hello locked locked okay great 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 okay this has to be the one because you get the beer if i was you know a frat kid this is absolutely where i would order from don't you worry peggy i got this i got this pizza you stay here okay how do i call peggy hey find anything useful you betcha um Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yeah, yeah, I just wanna, I wanna call the pizza Let's place. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. We don't okay, have to do this Forrest, live on air. Ah, uh, Ponty's Pizza for sure. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. I wanna give thumbs up. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Okay. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Um. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Yeah, yeah, I want, yeah, pizza. I want pizza. Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice. But that will take three hours. You sure? Ooh, dude, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Just give me the garlic bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. And we'll have that over to you. Okay, we got to tell him about the note. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, considering... Thank you, Mr. Ponty. KFAM are huge 
much bombs well I wouldn't I wouldn't really say that oh no is he gonna call and us again now we wait we should put a song on oh we always Agreed. put songs on this one goes out to our delivery workers uh stab in the twilight that sounds lovely it <laughs> and play beautiful <sighs> You're gonna love this next track. That was a great introduction. Okay, bye. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Oh, I where, forgot about where Virginia. Would you eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Um, equally, if you had to pick. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's. Not yeah, I like pizza, right. but I don't so, like him. Between grilling spree and chalupa cobra. I'd go grilling spree. It depends. Personally. Do I want a plate full of meat? Yes. Or Always yes. Do I want really, really good Also nachos? yes. It can change depending on the day. No, I know? hear you, Peggy. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, what? Forrest. We've got a call coming. Oh, in. boy. Hello. Time to turn the music off. Oh, right, right, right. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. Plunker! We got some calling, Brandon, and know to call this number. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Plunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Yeah. Yeah. Is this Goose? <laughs> no, oh, no, man. it's, um... It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? It is not Goose. <laughs> Such a Goose, Brandon. Oh, classic Goose. <laughs> this is an emerge... Mm, do I play along? I think I play along. Sure. Whatever, it's Goose. Now, listen, I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer! Yeah. <laughs> listen, I need you to... Goose, oh, no. get beer. Your brother's awaiting Did I just you. totally flub this? I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Let me get a second of Oh, God, if I already this. blew it, I'm going to be so disappointed. No, the barbarian! What do you think? Come on, Norman. <laughs> Right, right. I can do that. Oh, play us the flow. The flow, the Wait, flow. Really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the yep, damn yep, yep. song. Boom, boom. Eh? Yeah? Guys? Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Radio yes. Man. Got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. That was house. very easy. Okay. Forest, line two. Oh, oh, wow, this is my first line two call. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forest, it's the killer. Oh, dear God. He's at the door. Grace, oh my God. It's, it's you, isn't it? What? Clive, I didn't talk. Clive? What? Oh, thank God. You're welcome, Virginia. Oh, is that you, Radio Man? It's me. Don't worry. We brought the beer. At a boy. Plunker, plunker. I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're so welcome, Virginia. You're welcome, Virginia. Did we do it? And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Yes. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as tokens. Easy. Easy clap. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? About what Clive? What all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. Wait, what? But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. <laughs> in this if building? If you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. There's only a thousand people in the town. Lives. How many can be named meantime, Clive? Looks like we have another caller. Oh, we always have another caller. Okay, hold on. There's like a whole... Uh, okay. I thought maybe... I don't think anyone's getting in through there. I feel very vulnerable in here. I suppose I should take Yeah, we should call. take the call. One second. It is going to get all this crap out of the way. Oh, Maurice, I failed you. Hello, caller. Okay, Forrest. Oh my god, I'm so bad off. at being a radio host. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. Oh, thank you so much. As a local small business owner, oh, boy. I find this all horrifying. Mm -hmm. Yep. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town. I know. 
terrible. Yeah, it really is. I hear you there. Okay, can we? It's a scary time for everyone. Can we make sure we street. keep the line open How for the real up? people? You know, You're somewhere safe tonight. Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small. Yeah, business. no, you did. You it's did mention that before. Family friendly place. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you sure are up late, buddy. You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. Okay, why is this so suspicious, Peggy? What is happening with this small business owner? That includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Okay, this is. Ooh, we really gotta get a move on here, Peggy. Can we? Can we hang up? Can we hang up? Listen, do me a favor. Hang up the phone. Ah, you must really. Yeah, what is your business? What is your business anyway? Oh, somehow I doubt that. Oh my sweet Jesus. Hang up, Peggy. Immediately. Immediately. No, you gotta hang up. Don't give me that look. I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did say That is true. That was pretty clever. I can be mad. I'm a little Look, mad, but I'm also very now. humored. We already have somebody else on the line. Oh, Just all right. take a deep breath and let's keep going. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, let's do it. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Yep, that's me. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Yeah, hi, sure, Eugene. Caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And. I've got a heart full of love, Oh, first. that's beautiful, Eugene. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze. Oh, I saw a poster about that. Listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. That's beautiful. You a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Oh, Molly. She sounds great, Eugene. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Okay. To take our first journey together. Ooh, TMI, Eugene, TMI. That's why I'm calling Uh Uh-huh. I I thought she'd be here an hour ago. Oh, she's probably dead. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it... That's me? I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Okay, um, I would say normally you just play it cool, give her a little more time, but, um, because there's kind of a killer on the loose, I would say go home. Go home. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. Yeah. My parents are dead. <laughs> what? But, uh, oh, jeez. All of our parents, yeah, huh? I guess it's not the night. Oh. Hang on. I hear some rustling. Oh, dear God. No, nope, no, nope. don't yell. Molly! Oh. I'm in the middle! Oh, no. It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh, thanks again, Forrest. No, I... It's been good talking. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Oh, you're so dead, Eugene. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. It might be the last night of your life. Uh, don't run through the walls. Do you know the way out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember Maybe the way Maybe he's done it a bunch of times, Peggy. She's right! I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. Do we will? I... I'll do it for Molly. Oh, God, Molly. You're oh, a lucky please. woman. Hurry! Okay, I will. I will, I will. Well, listeners... Oh, boy. While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track Oh, my God, stop at the music. Who cares? What if I... Have I listened to everything? I feel like I've listened... Oh yeah, I haven't listened to this new one. Vice. Okay, that's a cool looking disc. There you go. Introduce, why this not? This is I'm Coming to Get You oh, by Vice. Poor title choice. One of the best tunes this year. Okay, what do we do, Peggy? How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze Right, 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 right. I saw the map. Shame she isn't here. No, 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 I got it. It's in the trash. She to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Uh, okay, isn't it for what, kids? You were going to go last week. I thought the maze maze was for kids. It's not just for kids, Forrest. Mm -hmm. The maze maze is fun for kids and adults. Okay, Peggy. It's probably because there's nothing else to do in this shithole of a town. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Oh, I'm sorry, Peggy. Why does everyone have dates? Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? 
A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. Yeah, I hear and that. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then, if she's so big on the maze. That's true. We could, but I don't actually know her number. Oh, the but '80s is a tough has time. Maze, maze stuff somewhere. Yeah, no, I saw it. I saw it. Go and see what you okay, can find. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm That'll going. That'll hopefully be enough. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, which one? Okay, we're is going. Barbara I'm going. I got this. Again. Don't worry about it. Barbara, you know Barbara. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know. <sighs> Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sit the <sighs> reception. Never does any work because she's talking. To I know, Peggy. Day. Let me leave Bring the room, thoughts. okay? Right. Yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress. It is a very no stressful excuses. night. Just go and find something. To I help am us. trying to, but I can't. Okay, we're great. We're going. We're going down. Nobody is in the office. Why is everything so evil outside? I keep waiting for somebody to be standing there or out in front of the door. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, yeah, I saw the saw the poster. Perfect. Perfect. Can go. Here's what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to lead him through. Is this anything? The Amazing Maze Maze Adult Admission. Uh, it has a date on it. I'm gonna take it just in case. Is there anything else here that would maybe help? No, no. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh, looks like Brad broke her heart. Wonder what she'd have done with all that Maze Maze stuff. Oh, shit. Peggy, you're, you might be back in with Barb. She's no longer with the Bradster. You ready to pucker up for the Bradster? We can do this. We can save Eugene. I believe in us. Okay, might not need this. Put this right there. Perfect, I'm ready. Any luck? Oh, for yes. Yes. For Barbara, no. Brad canceled the day. Yep. So Barbara left her tickets and a map for the maze maze behind. Uh. Well, Barbara can do better than... Yeah, she could take Never you, mind. right, Peggy? Let's save the kid. Right, let's save the Eugene kid. Eugene called while you were okay, away. Okay, perfect. He's on line one. Just gonna take this. All right, Eugene. When you're ready. I am just so bad at this. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Yes. Eugene, you're back on air. Okay. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. Okay, you gotta tell me... Tractor, tractor. Facing a tractor Number statue. one. Okay, I see you. You're next to like the weird person. Gold on my right. Okay, so two on the right. So he's looking at the tractor. So he's at that intersection. We got to get him out of here. Okay. Oh, what would be the fastest way? Left? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's a tricky, that's a tricky trickster route. Shit. Okay, hold. All right, well, there's no time so I can figure this out. So the best way to do it is go backwards. We still want to go left. Yes. Okay, you're gonna go left. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Go left. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I went left, then tried a right. Right. I have a pig statue in front of me, and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Okay, so he's like, you gotta go backwards. You have to go backwards, my dude. Backwards. Go backwards. Oh God! Why didn't I just fight her over? I'm at a crossroads. Okay. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. So Which you way? left. You want to go left? Yes, definitely, definitely. I got you. Go left. I got you, my dude. Oh. You're okay. You're okay. Keep running, Eugene. Keep running. He should be like somewhere around here. Scarecrow, okay. Uh, you want sides. to go... Nothing to your sides? Okay, that's fine. You want to go right. So he's looking looking at the barn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right. Go right. Oh my god, I can do this. He should be getting to the corn silo. I can't run. Much y more. You're doing great. I just passed a corn silo. Okay, you're fine. Didn't see anything else. Oh my god, he's so close. He's like right here. You gotta go right. If he just passed the corn silo and he's at a crossroads, he would go right, and that will take him to the exit. Go right. Oh, please, please, he should be going right here. Come on. I'm out. 
I did it. <laughs> I did it, Peggy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you, everyone. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome. Well, okay, Molly didn't save you. I did. Yes, we did it. That was tense. Oh my I think I goodness! Held my breath the whole time. Me too. I I'm sweaty. Pretty well, I was told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? No, oh, she's dead. You think she's okay? No, she's Unfortunately definitely for dead. Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Oh, that would be the smart thing. One forty-nine. We're moving. We're moving through the ages. Moving slow, but moving, you know. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. How many Clives Remember, are there? Report a Clive to stay alive. We're just... Next caller okay. is up, Forrest, so take it away. All right, and a boop. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Oh, well... Thank you. Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Uh-huh. Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Okay, why is this, like, really creepy? All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. Wait, what? What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. Wait, what? what are you talking about? Peggy? I threw it away. Peggy? You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. What? Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. Oh, my God. He put it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Yeah, okay, which one, Not though? Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. No, that's fine. We don't need We don't need to play it. We don't, we don't need to play it. For shame. For shame, Peggy. For shame. I know. But it's okay. We just tell Let's her we can't play it, right? play a different song. I agree. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Very gotcha. true. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dawn. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Oh, God, is Dawn the killer and she's going to be really mad that I didn't play her song? Or can I go out there and look for it? I think I've played pretty much everything. Uh, except maybe the last one? Yeah, we'll, we'll try this bad boy. Wacha! Ba bow bow! Oh, yeah, sure. Here comes one of my favorites. Yeah, you don't need to know the name. Oh, <sighs> this has been a rough night, Peggy. Of all the songs to request, why yeah, did it yeah. have to be that one? I know. Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. Yeah, but that's true of <gasps> any you song. Why just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. We just started. We are a terrible radio. Uh, okay, right. Hello, caller. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. That is Welcome very to true. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. M Murphy? Um... What, what's, what's the, wait, the guy that's fighting him in the... Oh, no. Mr. Dojo. Hey, how'd it go, Mr. Dojo? Uh, oh, the killer got me, man. What do you mean? I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named... Peggy. Mr. Robin. Oh, yeah, that's a terrible <sighs> one. not to... Hindsight is 20, 20 That okay? is very true. First, we need to do something. I what? Goddamn. How does this guy get around the town so quickly? Damn. Is he burning you alive? I think he started a fire. Oh, holy on, shit. We'll call for help right now. You got to hurry, man. I need someone here now or I'm going to die. Yeah, I don't know what I can do. Do we hey, have a fire? The fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now Please, there's gotta be, gotta be someone in there, right, Peggy? On, <laughs> the, the cops are dead, but the fire, they're fine. Hi. Yes, I'd like uh -huh, to repair uh -huh. a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. Peggy, keep me updated. Hello? What do you mean it's not operational? What? Why is there no backup vehicle? Are you kidding me? This town is the worst. He oh, God damn it. 
force that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. <laughs> they can't do anything. Why do we only have I one? Have friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where I don't live? know. My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero. Street. These names mean nothing to me. Lives on the west end of Myers Lane, and there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane, but he's old, really old. Okay, okay. well, not him. I'll then. Check the map. See who would be best to do this. Okay, okay, okay. Map. Right. Map. 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 Okay. Uh, he's in the waste disposal. Okay, this might be this might be handy. Oh God, we gotta hurry. Okay, Peg, you gotta give me. I dropped it. Uh, it's still over there. Okay. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? I don't remember. I don't remember what you said about any of your friends. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, never mind. It's all right there. Uh, oh, I like that. Oh, my hand. Okay. Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road. Haddonfield, Haddonfield, Haddonfield. Haddonfield, okay. Haddonfield next to Romero. Right there. Get out of here. Perfect. So that is where... Alex lives, which is very close to the waste. Okay, that's great. Catherine, le west end of Myers. Never eat so over here. So I'm thinking right now, Alex is closest. Old man Jericho is east end of Myers, which is right here. He's the closest, but yeah, I think we got to go with Alex, right? Yeah, Alex will be able to do something about the fire. He's right there. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, Alex. Okay, this might be this might be handy. Call Alex. All right, give me a second. Peggy? They're on the way. Oh, They'll call wow. from the plant. You can direct them from there. Okay. Let's hope they get there in time. Great. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Okay, is it is it your friend Alex? Hello? Patch him through. Are you sure you can't? What's happening, Peggy? No, oh, she looks very Alex shocked. Alex was too far away. Too slow. The plant burned down. <laughs> it collapsed. <laughs> what? So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is going to be crushed. Were you serious? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Alex was right here. Old man Jericho was like here. The difference in time would be negligible, right? That that he was at the waist dis- Oh my god, that is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. That is bullshit, Peggy. Your friend Alex probably stopped to get nachos. Ah, <sighs> his father... Uh, died a hero. His father died a hero. He was just trying to protect the town. That's actually pretty nice, Forrest. Oh, man, that sucks. God, your friend Alex sucks. I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy. Yeah. It's going to be our... Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. D do you remember when Maurice died and you really didn't give a shit? But then suddenly right, Murphy? Folks, another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, man, I was doing so good, too. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. Here. Oh, no. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my... Oh, Gallows that doesn't do anything, Teddy. During this awful time. It is oh, awful. It's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founder, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider. Ah, oh, Teddy, we really don't give a shit, my dude. We are here for a bigger you're purpose. Really stepping up yes, I am. Never mind, Teddy. I like you. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. Yeah, I really don't like him either. Um, thank you so much, Teddy. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. Oh. This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. I just want to make sure our oh, town God. is safe and prosperous. That's <laughs> why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows. I love it. God rest his soul. Okay, can we hang up, Peggy? You have the ability to hang up on the callers. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. Oh my god, if you say something a about crime. Oh god, please, town. Peggy. You know what it is? Please, please, emergency, not problem. I didn't ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is Oh my that god. Woman, our Peggy, Pe Peggy, right now. Linda Peggy, Carter. immediately. 
Uh, Peggy? Here we go. No. She just you hang up. You us. just you press the Landmark hang up button, Peggy. Is oh my God. Unstable and You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town. It Your producer sounds a little unstable too. Hang you up dare the speak phone. To me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when <laughs> I take off. Peggy, you're the worst the producer ever. And Thank you. That's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. Ay, ay, ay. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Will you let him talk Wait, for too long, worst. Peggy? I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Definitely don't want to play his campaign tape again. Okay, that one's been played. We'll go with this. Master Robbie, the guy that just allowed Murphy to die. That's a great ad to play right after his death. Do you want to learn Kung Fu? Hoo Master Ravi! Yep, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You seek ancient wisdom. Do you want to double your power? I do. Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior? I am. Only $24.99. That's so cheap. Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from Wow! Me, direct Robbie. by video? You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. I'm ready. The power of the alligator. Yes. The discipline of the tarantula. Of course. The speed of the tuna. So the fast. Poise of the scorpion. So poised. The wisdom of the bullfrog. That is five. Using classified okay. Techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. That's incredible. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Peggy, get, get ordering. My God, that is such a good deal. I see why Murphy called him. Ugh, I feel... I feel alive just Never listening to that. Oh, Robbie, you, you got me. Today, <laughs> God, it just keeps going, huh? Okay, I think that's enough, right? Wow, spinny. Oh, wow. I think I will, Robbie. Hey, Peggy, you want to do some karate lovemaking? Jesus, you know, after what happened with Murphy, I think... Yeah, we should take that out of yeah, rotation. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Uh, Apologies, everybody. Kind of a shame, though. It is pretty fun. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. You uh, interested, Peggy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Uh, no, I am. <laughs> I love words. Oh, okay, Apologies, we're back. Apologies, folks. We must have left that tape in rotation by accident. Oh, oh yeah, after the whole murder. Say, that's one deal you can skip. But what you can't skip is what our next caller has to say. Man, my caller transitions are one. incredible. Okay, I am ready. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> okay, this sounds dangerous. Oh, I'm ready, Peggy. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I, I am the police. Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. Oh, I, shit. I think he's killed some of them already. Oh, shit. That's him. Who? Oh, are you he's already dead? Outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Oh, man. Okay. Don't fight. Yeah, I gotta uh, run, run. Is there a way out? Can you run? Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh, God. my God. Stay with me, kid. Focus. <laughs> We can do it together. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Your name's hyperventilating? Oh, Sweetie, oh God. you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Hi, do hi do Carrie. It. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. Yes, we All are. Right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. The old murder house? What? I'm at the end of a hall. That sounds like the worst place to be. Oh dear God! Where should I go? I honestly have no idea. Ah, uh, oh shit! No, no bedroom, bedroom. Because if you go in the closet, there's no way out. If you go in the bathroom, there's usually no way out. So let's go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll. Immediately dead. Oh God. He's here. Yeah, no, I know that. No, Forrest, he's not. I don't think we can... Don't move! Don't move! Oh, I'm so nervous. 
You really gotta calm down here, Gary, with the breathing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened? Gary? Forest! Oh, you stupid assholes. How do you see my what? face? I'm on the radio. What? what? Are you... Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? Oh my Just god. Okay, it wasn't you, Carrie. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy! That wasn't funny! God. Oh, they had me. Like totally up. had me, though. But some guy just answered instead. Hey, that's me. Forrest Nash! What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. Oh no, Jimmy, just no. Fun. That's the kid. It's murder the kid night. Who called in earlier, pretending to be the whistling man. Oh, I hate him That's so much. Him. I'm out of here. Yeah, you. Ugh. You, uh, ah. Ugh. You're sick, Jimmy. <sighs> Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. What? It's whistling night. Yeah, people that are dying. Idiot. Oh my whistling god. Night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's three of you. Not time, but not much. Oh, dear Forrest, God. We have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. Um... He's the best we're gonna get. Oh, you're so screwed. My friend, we drove out to the old murder Yeah, house. terrible idea. Oh, of course. The van. Who's got the keys? I bet it was Jimmy. Jimmy had them. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my hand in disappointment. Okay, uh, it's going to be okay, Carrie. Okay, okay. it's going to be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. Yes. Breathe. I, we'll figure something out. We, Between we all got of you, you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. What, what is she saying? If only Jeannie were here. Oh, Jeannie? Jeannie always had the right answers. Jeannie McPherson? Our intern, Jeannie? We have it. Why? How, how many people do we employ here? The smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force. Listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay. And, okay. Uh, what? Scott, you're not any good at. Uh, and no, no, Jack. There are so many out of you. Out of all of us, you're not the one. To... I feel like they could take him. Uh, everything okay? No. We. Uh, yeah, like a couple of you plan. might die, but you know. Right. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree oh. on who should do what. Oh, there was like a friendship I list downstairs. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. I okay. Uh, shut up, you... Uh. Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. Um, okay. I, I don't know anything about your friends. I, I think we can find out, though. <gasps> these damn kids never learn. Yeah, you'd really think that the whole murder thing would have, you know, told them to not do this. <sighs> are you okay, Peggy? Are you okay? Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. Yeah, that sounds really All right. dumb. <clears throat> Folks, we're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. Right. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. How many trapped kids are there? Okay, we got a uh, random song, random song, this one, doodly doo, bam. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. We only have like 10 songs here at this radio station. Hey, you mentioned something about their friend working here? Yes, yes, she had a An desk intern? downstairs, yeah, right? Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Sure, sure, sure. Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space. Actually, the office is huge. Got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere down Yeah, no, I already found that desk. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. She does. A friendship test. 
Oh, don't worry, Peggy. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Yes. Yes. We, we've already been there, Forrest. We got this. And serial killer. Okay, we're good. He's currently busy harassing a bunch of small children. All right. Jeez. Here we go. They really tucked Jeannie away. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, da, da, no, no. Good job. Jeannie, good luck. I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Love, Mom. Yeah. This. Friendship quiz. This is what we need. This might work. Okay, so we got a bunch of friend. Oh, there's a backside. Oh, damn. Okay. Hot David. Ugh, that's my favorite guy. I love Hot David. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. With this friendship quiz, I should be able to tell who is good at what. I don't know how that's going to come into a play, but you know what? Maybe, just, just maybe it'll work. All right, Peggy. Hey. You find anything that'll help us Absolutely out? Absolutely yeah. did. I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. It's the Carry best we got, one. Peggy. Whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, Forrest, shut the music oh, off. Oh, right, I'm bad at my job. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, okay, but we can't great. agree on who should do I what. I am here to you help. Want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? First things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. Okay. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Oh, Hot David can do anything. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Hot David, Kyle, Heather. Heather it is. Heather's got this. Yes, she does. Yes, Heather. He picked you. I did. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. Okay. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Right. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Oh, well, all right. Um, uh, most likely to win the award, most likely to end up in prison. Is Seth most likely to escape prison? Is Jennifer? That would make sense, right? Escaping prison, picking locks? Jennifer. Oh, Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Yeah, okay, what I think we picked right earlier? there. Anyway... That brings us okay, to part three. we're doing good. We're doing good. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Um, right. You have to get them from I Jimmy. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so. Oh. It'll probably be easier. That is way. brutal. Good on you, Carrie. That's part four. Okay. This is um a very long plan. Well, this is a long plan. How much more is there? Only a couple more points. Oh boy. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling. Man okay. Back. We need a fast runner. Fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between. It it's going to be Hot David. Hot David. Yep. Cynthia and Scott. Uh, no, no, it is definitely Hot David. Oh, he's so hot. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you uh, do spend a lot of time running shots. Yeah, because he's so hot. You got this, Hot David. Yes, he does. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. Ooh, Jimmy's a good driver, huh? A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van key. Okay. Pick the lock on the gate. Now the truth. The Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling. Man. I mean, you, you know, you just pick the weakest one of you. So, let's use that against him. Peggy, Part they might five, be stupid teens. Okay. Someone can pretend to be injured. Sure. Who would make the most vulnerable? Beat? Who you got? We got uh. Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Oh, all right, most likely to win an Oscar. Uh, Cynthia has the worst poker face, so I'm going to go with Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, if you survive this, never do that British accent again. That should take care of the game. Okay, great. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Okay. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Scott, uh -huh. Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know. Uh, okay, uh, most likely to beat everyone at go karting would be Scott. Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie. Jimmy, most likely to end up in a car crash is Scott. So maybe we don't go with Scott. We go with Chad. Chad is the only one I have left. Uh, yeah, okay, Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go karting experience? Yeah. You got this, Chad. You're welcome. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. Let's go to Oh, Sounds boy. Good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Oh, I'm nervous. Ah, oh, I'm so nervous. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Ah, yeah, boy. We're all gonna die tonight. Oh, the kids are back already. 
Line one oh, again. God. Okay. Oh, God. Peggy, I can't. What if they die? What if they die? If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Good, good luck, teens. Listener discretion is advised. Oh, boy. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go first. Oh, no. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> don't die, okay? You got this. Yeah. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and Okay, away. one. All right, Renner. Ready. Hot David! Wait for the spotter signal. Spotter says go! Oh my god, it's working. It's working. Oh no. Lockpicker, go! Oh. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, well, he got. He got knifed, so, you know, you're gonna have to get past that. The keys, Carrie. Get, get the keys. Get, get the, the keys. keys. His face is lying next oh, to Oh, dear him. God. Oh. Oh god. oh god. Oh, it oh, focus. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. The right. Got him. Okay, good. <gasps> Jennifer got the game. Yes. Oh, Jennifer. And hot David should be back. Oh, he's so hot. Oh, perfect. It's working. I can't believe it's actually oh, working. Successful. You're doing great. Sounds. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step. Traffic. I'm nervous about this All one. Right. I'm nervous about this one. Everybody else, hide. Oh God, he can't kill all of them, right? I mean, if one dies, whatever. <laughs> okay, performer. Okay, who's my performer? Now, act like your life depends on it. Oh God. Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, He's buying. He's buying it. it. Oh, he's not buying it. What? No, 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 no. Now, push the bookshelf over. Did we do it? Kids? Oh my god, they both went through the floor. Well, okay, so we lost one. Spotter! You need to climb that's, that's okay. Now. That's fine. Go. Right? Just one. <laughs> Just Yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the back. Okay, okay. So all right, that's pretty good. Driver, take the keys. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Good, good, good. The damn gate swung shut. What? Carrie? <laughs> Carrie? Oh dear God, no. What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. Oh God, no. You drive through. Carrie, run. What was that? It's a whistling mask. Drive! Carrie! Now! No! Let me go! Go! Just drive! Oh my god. Please, no! Oh! Oh! Mmm! Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Carrie? <sighs> but I mean, some of them. He just, Wait, what? He, he just stared at me. Carrie! Carrie? She's alive? He just stared at me and walked into the woods. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I don't understand. D does it matter, <laughs> Carrie? Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? Okay, okay, I think we did it. I mean, one of them got Maybe crushed by, like, a book, nothing. but that's fine. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great such plan. Such a good plan. Uh, such a good plan. Don't forget Jeannie, okay? Don't forget Jeannie. Her friendship quiz Friendship saved quiz. The day. I told you she was the best. Yeah. I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Okay. Talk to you then. Sounds good. Oh, my God. Is that a victory? That feels like a victory. Folks, that was a that was a lot. I'm counting um, that as a victory. Thoughts go okay. Out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. Yeah. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. Oh, that was and brutal. Parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Oh, 
boy. So Jimmy got his face cut off and Tammy? Tammy or Lisa got crushed by a bookshelf. So you know what? I mean, not a complete loss. That is still a success in my book. Let's do some stabbing for the girls walking home. Oh, this is a tough job. Play, Play a record for I'm us. I'm playing the record, Peggy. It's a killer frequency.